David, wake up. What's going on, guys? I'm here with another interview with a basketball coach out in Arizona who started a post-grad uh, prep school. And, uh, you know, and kids that are looking for that type of program, you know, uh, it'll be a good listen. And uh, we go a little in-depth, quick and short interview. And, uh, you know, just like, subscribe to the channel. And, you know, we can do a little bit more of these videos for you guys. All right? Peace. Hello, guys. I'm here once again with uh, another interview. I'm here with uh, Will Ratliff. Uh, you know, he's out there in Arizona. And, you know, we're just going to chop it up real quick about, you know, a few uh, important things. And, um, you know, hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Um, so, so yeah, just real quick, if you can tell the people or the viewers, um, you know, who you are exactly. My name is Will Ratliff uh, from a small little town in Virginia. Uh, played college basketball. Did pretty good at it. Then played professional basketball. Did real good at that. Started doing some basketball training and some uh, working with some basketball academies and so forth. For the last couple of years, I have uh, it's called Faith Basketball Academy. Uh, we were based in Virginia, Texas, now here in Arizona. It's uh, post-grads mostly. I work with all kids, but we mostly do a basketball program for post-grads. Boys have already graduated high school, take 10 to 12 players, work with them for about six to nine months, and then they get college scholarships if they're good enough. Mm, okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um, so what made you create this academy and, and what was the inspiration behind uh the name of the of the academy uh my daughter is her name her middle name is faith but i am a church going god fearing man and why not uh give credit what credit is due and uh i played i worked hard to play ball and i think i trained a lot but god gave me the talent mostly yes and i think that the kids that i train and work with the older boys most of them can play. They just got something wrong with their head, their heart, their family. Something around them is not uh, helping them get to where they need to be. So God and myself and family, we, we make it happen. Nice, nice. Uh, yeah, it's, it's funny that, you know, I started the podcast two years ago and I, and his name, you know, basketball, you know, uh, plus – or and uh, uh faith in basketball so you know it's it's uh, funny that you know you created um this academy uh when, when did you when did you start it um by name about three years ago off and on uh things happened had to move and transfer and get things happen in other states and i started working with kids and we got a, i got a couple kids some scholarships to college but hopefully this year, if not this year, in the spring here in Arizona, since sports can be played year round here in Arizona, in Texas too, but in Arizona because it's it's never bad weather. It's, it doesn't snow unless you go somewhere that it has the snow. It's right now. It's 106 degrees here in Arizona right now. <laughs> wow, you're living the life. Yeah, but 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 year round you can play any sport, and, and I try. I work with kids. I try to train all sports. Uh, uh, every every sport, every kid that plays an, an athlete can get quicker, stronger, faster, jump higher, no matter what sport it is. Okay, okay. Um, so 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 how how does the academy exactly work? Is is it a prep school, or is it is it an AU program, or how, how does it work? It's a prep school because it's a post grad. These kids have already graduated high school. Right. We try. I, I try to work with kids that don't have to worry about SAT or ACT scores. But we, I have people in place that can help with that to get their grades, their scores, or scores up if needed. But most of the kids that we train, I work with, just need basketball training, mm -hmm. and it's mostly just heart, their head, family. They gotta get stronger, faster, quicker, and that's when that's when, when that's how I got this going. I try not to worry about the academics as much because I mean, it was hard to find somebody who can help with that. Now that I can find somebody to help with that, and online you can find anything. 
So what, right now we're just working on trying to find some basketball players that want to, if not already in Arizona, come to Arizona and play ball for six to nine months. And there's uh, quite a few prep schools around here, and we can travel anywhere and everywhere. That's why the tuition for the to, to play football for me, we got a tuition. That's for your room and board, transportation, travel, all the gear, all the all the kicks you could wear, everything we could get in there. Okay. Do the kids uh, be on scholarships or they ought to pay out their pockets? Or? Uh, a little bit of both. I'm trying to get some sponsors from the local from, uh, businesses. And and uh, there's a lot of sports people here, a lot of professional athletes around here. And so I've mm-hmm. talked to quite a few. I've talked to quite a few. And, and I, they're willing to help, but they, they want to see the product more. They want to see what we do. Mm. Okay, okay. Like who, who have you talked to? Any, any NBA player you talked to? They're just all post, all uh, all retired, all uh, from past players right. that live uh, live around here, uh, and some and some other and some other basketball programs that have like a uh, AAU and other things, but they just do up to high school. They don't do anything past high school. And I've talked to some of those programs, and they really want me to include be included in their uh, program for one of their kids that are already. The ones that are graduating high school that haven't decided or not able to go to a college or junior college, post graduate basketball prep school is the best thing for anybody. You can go there for one year, play ball, get stronger, faster, whatever you got to do to get better, and then you go to four year college. If you go to a junior college, you go to two year junior college, and then you have two years of eligibility mm-hmm. only. So I think prep school, my brother played at Fort Union Prep School. One of the best things about it, you play for one good year, you do what you got to do, get your body and your head right, and then you have four years of eligibility, not just two after college or junior college. Okay, okay. Um, is it, does any of your players uh playing in uh D1? Uh, no, a uh, couple D2s. Well, I have one kid that played ball for me two years ago, he uh he is in Madrid, Spain right now, getting paid to play, but yeah, he put his, he put his head on the rim. Wow, yeah, he and and we would go play ball, and people would say you worked with him so much to get him jumping that high. I said, no, that's called God. God gave him that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, okay, nice, nice. Uh, and what is the vision moving forward for the academy? Uh, okay. Well, I have a bad. I, I'm a during the day. I'm a school teacher during the day at a, Sorry, at a school at a, teacher. It's a, it's a prep school. It's are, a, are, are you? Are you? Are you a school teacher at the, at the Faith Basketball Academy or or at somewhere else? Oh, I, I'm a school teacher during the day at a, at a elementary K through some K, kindergarten middle school. Oh, okay. But my basketball program I do in the evenings, or we do it early in the mornings at that same gymnasium. Right. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. So I have um, to be honest. That's a good reason why I'm a school teacher. I have access to a gymnasium anytime I need it. Really. Nice, nice. Those, those are hard to come by, indoor gymnasium, especially here in this nice warm weather. <laughs> Everything is outdoor. <laughs> uh, well, they have quite a few uh, ports that are outside, like a, a lot of uh, subdivisions and school systems have outdoor courts. They, they have a lot of them. Okay, cool, cool. Um. And, you know, I, I would say my main question, you know, that I like to ask everybody um, for the most part is, you know, how has your faith um, made you successful in, in in your life up to this point? Before I was married, I always answered to one person, God. Now that I've been married and divorced and I'm married now with them, I have, I have two kids. I say I answer to four people, God, my wife and my two kids. As long as those four people are happy, everything is lovely. <laughs> well said. Well said. <laughs> but I was, I was also, uh, I, I'm, 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 I'm unlike a lot of sport people. I used to be a children's minister at a, at a church in Tennessee when I was living there with my kids. So I've been around God most of my life. When, my, when, when we were growing up, my mom and my dad, we were in church when the doors were open. 
Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night, Saturday, just whenever we, we need to be there, we were there. Wow. I think that gave me I think that gave me a little a better perspective on not just God but life. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, any any last thoughts that you wanna um share or tell the people? I don't I don't have a website up yet, but we uh, my number I have a, a business card and my phone number on it. We can we can I'm on Facebook a little bit and some other things. Right. But what I'm trying to find I'm trying to find ten to twelve players that have already graduated high school boys or yeah. young men, young men per se. Yeah. That can play ball but want to get to a bigger, faster, stronger and maybe get their name out more. Uh we I've already talked to some major prep schools and and who wherever they may be. I've talked to quite a few about scheduling some games. So and plus nowadays everything's on social media. So no really no college coach recruiter can go have to go to watch a ball game in person. They can just push a button and right. it's there. Right. We, we, are, are you able to take some international kids? Yes. Canadian I kids? Can take, I'll take anybody and everybody. We don't care as long as they want to play ball. And My thing is I want quality kids. I don't want buttholes. I don't want guys that are not, not going to do it uh, in and out of the classroom and in and out of the gymnasium. I don't want guys that are just waste of time yeah we don't absolutely. want that i want kids i want kids want to work and and they know i'm going to work for them we're going to get them somewhere but they and nothing nothing's easy no more if you don't want to work for it you don't need to do it yeah absolutely okay all right may, maybe i might uh send some canadians your way and please we'll do see. i'll take them all <laughs> I, i'll take them all Okay. All right. All right. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, thank you for some time. Thank you for your time. And you know, we'll we'll definitely uh stay in touch. All right. Okay. All right. Thank, thank you, guys. Thank you so much. God bless. All right. Peace.